In Dublin tonight, turns out cast iron the size of a softball can rocket hundreds of feet into the air when misfired. This cannonball was supposed to go through several barrels of water and through a cinder block and then ultimately into the side of a hill. Instead, the cannonball flew over the foothills surrounding Camp Park's military firing reservation. Large hill and a long way. And like a cruise missile came spiraling back toward Dublin, straight through the front door of a home on Casada Place. It bounced, went th completely through that house, through, through all the sheetrock walls of that house. The cannonball bounced around the interior of the Casada home like a pinball, flying up to the second floor before blasting through the back bedroom wall, the homeowner sleeping through it all. They were awakened by the settling dust of the uh, sheetrock. After turning two by fours and plaster into an eight inch peephole, the wayward cannonball blasted across busy Tassajara Road, miraculously missing cars and the people inside, but not this house. That roof up there, you could see all the roof tiles are demolished. That's Mean Jung's rooftop half a football field away from Tassajara Road. Still, the cannonball turned his slate roof tiles into chips. His mother thought the heavens were falling. It's a very loud boom, and she thought a tree fell, maybe a meteor, but it's not clear there was some cannonball that <laughs> landed on a roof. An X marks the spot where the cannonball's rampage finally came to an end, inside the Gill family's minivan. The dash, I mean, through, through the passenger window. Had you just gotten out of the van? Yeah, 10 minutes ahead before it hit. 10 minutes before the strike? Yes. Are you feeling lucky tonight? Yeah, I'm lucky I'm alive. 